Yo, it's Brock, and welcome to the studio. Yo, what up, guys? This is Brock, and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very, very, very special day. Not only do we have a studio tour, full studio tour, we also are announcing the giveaway winner of the Aperture MC LED light. So make sure you stay tuned. The giveaway announcement is right about halfway point in the video. You can check the markers if you want to go see. But I encourage you to stick around. Watch the whole video if that's something that you're into. If you want to see my studio where I get all my work done, where I shoot my videos and edit and all the things in between. So let's get into it. So let's start here with the desk, with the desk, right? Um, this is a desk that me and my dad actually built together. I needed a L-shaped desk that I didn't want to go out and buy, so we threw it together ourselves. Everything we built except for the legs themselves. I love the L-shape, it's plenty of room. We built the monitor riser for the iMac to sit on top of, and this desk honestly serves me super well, so I love it. So under my desk, I have a drawer unit from Ikea, and surprisingly, it's actually not the Alex drawers that everybody and their mom has. I did not not get those because everybody has them. I actually found this one on Amazon with way cheaper shipping, and it did not require me to drive to Charlotte, which is like four hours away from me, to go to Ikea and pick one up. So I chose to go with this one. It's actually wider, but not as tall as the Alex drawers. So the drawers are actually a little bit bigger, but the unit itself is not as tall. We built some risers, so there's actually a gap between the bottom of the desk and the top of the drawer unit, so I can slide stuff like my laptop when I'm not using it, my iPad, whatever it may be. I can slide that right under there, and it's a great spot kind of out of the way and I can grab it quickly if I need to. The next most important thing at your desk is going to be your chair, right? The thing that supports you when you're sitting down for hours on end editing a video. This chair is actually from Amazon. It's like a $450 ergonomic chair. I honestly don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I probably had it for about a year now and it's been great. The mesh has held up perfectly. Um, it's the most... That light just fell off my back of my iMac there. Sorry about that. So yeah, I've had this chair about a year and it's held up great. I was having super bad back problems before I got it and it honestly has eliminated all of that. And it's also super comfortable and just a great chair. It's super nice, built very well. Honestly, to me, it's a great value because chairs are expensive. You can easily spend $800 plus over $1,000 on a chair and they will be great, but this is the best value, kind of that mid price range, like 450 bucks. And it's worth investing in your chair, even though it's not something fun that you exactly want to spend money on, it is really, really worth it. So. I highly recommend. So now let's move on to the computer. This is a 2019 eight core i9 iMac with the Radeon uh, Vega 48 graphics card. And I have 72 gigs of RAM in it as well that I've put in after the fact. So it's a workhorse. It's been a workhorse since 2019 when I bought it and I still love it. I've used it less now that I have the new M1 Max MacBook Pro because it's just faster, but it's still a more than capable computer. It served me super well. I love the 5K retina screen, super accurate and uh, I have no complaints. Planes. So now let's move on to the audio setup of the desk. I've become kind of an audiophile over the last few years and I played guitar and I play a little bit of keys. So I'm in the music world. I love music and I love recording stuff and good quality audio. So I've invested pretty good into my audio setup on my desk. So let's start with the audio interface that kind of runs the whole show. This is the Audit ID44. It's actually more of a recent purchase and this interface is phenomenal. Audit is a company that makes analog recording consoles like modern versions of analog preamps for recording music and stuff and these have the same preamps that are in their high-end consoles so this has four mic preamps and that's what I'm recording with right now and when I made the jump from this from a Behringer audio interface it was night and day it's amazing what good preamps will do for your audio so that is my audio interface I honestly love this thing it's expandable too with ADAT so it's plenty of options plenty of room to grow and I have zero complaints dude seriously it's like the second time this happens I'm gonna record it's ridiculous Sorry. Now there's no point in having nice microphones and nice preamps if you're not gonna have a good way to listen to your audio back. And that's why I have the Personos Ares 5 studio monitors. These monitors are great. They're a great, affordable, accurate way to monitor your audio, listen to your recordings, to really have an accurate representation of what your audio sounds like so that you can EQ and edit it properly to then post online or to distribute however you choose to do so. So these are awesome. I love them, they sound great, and they're a great value for the money. So the last part of my audio setup is the Klipsch 10 inch subwoofer that I have under my desk. So this subwoofer is actually a home theater subwoofer that I have kind of used as a device to listen to music on. Uh, it sounds great. It's 
That's three. It's three times. It's freaking ridiculous, honestly. I don't even know what to do. I've tried. Let, hold on. I'm you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna have a break here. This light, I tried the original sticky stuff that comes with it. It doesn't work. The left one stuck just fine, but the right one falls constantly. And now I've tried duct tape, I've tried gorilla tape, I've tried gaff tape, I've tried everything to get that thing to stay on the back of that monitor, and it doesn't. It falls all the time. And today it's three times in this one video. It's ridiculous. So I'm frustrated. Back to the video. This thing sounds awesome. It's actually a home theater sub that I use to listen to music and edit other audio that I may do for work. Um, so it's great to have. I love good bass. It sounds awesome. It's super tight and accurate and punchy, which is what you want from a sub, in my opinion. You don't want this booming sh wall shaking sound. You want something this tight, punchy that adds warmth to your sound. And that's what this thing does. So I love it. The other piece of the audio puzzle is the microphone that I'm recording on right now. This is the Shure MV7 attached to like a Samson uh, boom arm, desk mounted boom arm, and it works great. I run it into my uh, ID44 and it goes out of my speakers and then I can listen to it and edit the audio. It works great. Love this microphone. Super great value. I actually have a SM7B windscreen on this that I bought online for like six bucks. You can get them and buy them aftermarket and I just find that it works better than the stock windscreen. It actually gets um, it's a little taller off the actual mic capsule, so you don't get as much of the plosives. It kind of eliminates that better to me than the original one, so that's what I use. That's why my MV7 may look a little different than ones that you have or ones that you've seen, uh, but that's a pro tip. So go buy the SM7B windscreen replacement, and it works better than the original. It just slides right on top, and it works perfect. Everything on my desk, lighting-wise, is Philips Hue, except these tiles on the wall. These are the Nano Leaf tiles, um, but everything else is Philips Hue. Philips Hue is great for smart home lighting. They're the best. They are expensive and that could be an argument to go somewhere else uh, and with another brand, but I love their stuff. I think it looks great. I think it works great. The only downside to Philips Hue is that when you're a video creator, you do get flicker on the light. So you have to be really, really, really careful to make sure that your shutter speed is right. I mess up all the time with this because it's just sometimes it's so faint, it's hard to see. I actually just ordered the aperture bulbs that go in lamps that are smart bulbs that don't flicker at all. So I'm really excited to get those if they make a difference because I have two lamps over there in kind of the lounge area of the studio that um, have Philips Hue bulbs in them right now and they flicker all the time. So on camera, so I want to get the aperture ones. I'm excited to switch those out. I'll let you guys know if it actually makes a big difference, um, but that's coming. And the last major thing in my desk area is the shelving unit behind where I sit. This has just some storage for some lights, like my gimbal. Um, and like I said, I'm a guitar player, so I have my pedal board under here right now. Um, if you guys want more information on that, I can more than gladly do a video on guitar stuff and more music stuff, but I'm just not sure if that's something you're interested in. I may do some of that in the future, but um, this is my pedal board and I store my guitars over here as well. And uh, it's a great little way to store stuff. It's small shelf, it's super lightweight, so I can move it around pretty easy and it works great. So before we move on to the next part of the studio, it is time to announce the giveaway winner. Thank you guys for entering. There was like so many comments and subscribing and all those things. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, but I took the video, put it in a random comment picker and the winner is, drum roll please, Joseph McBrayer. Um, he has been notified. I sent him a message so he's aware that he's won. But if you didn't win, I'm sorry. I'm just one dude. I can't afford to buy all of you uh, these lights, but I really appreciate you entering and there will be another giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So if you stick around, you're going to have another chance to win. So if you like what you see and you like these videos, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to be a part of these giveaways that are going to happen in the future. But again, congratulations, Joseph. I will be sending you one of these Aperture MCs straight to your door. Um, but again, thank you all for entering. Now let's move on to the rest of the studio tour. Now let's move on to the lounge area of the studio, which is kind of, you know, where we chill out, watch some TV, you got some downtime, or just sit, meet with people, hang out. If I want to change the pace, I can go sit on the couch with the laptop, get a change of scenery, um, and it works great. This couch is actually from Amazon. I will have all the links to all the stuff in the description, by the way, if I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name as per usual. Um, and just some random pillow that I found somewhere. I don't remember where I got it, to be honest. Blanket from Amazon. Honestly, most of the stuff is from Amazon, except for some of these chairs. This black chair is an Ikea chair. This gray one is actually from Target, but I've seen it other places as well. Um, and this shelving unit, no idea where it came from. Um, but it's here, and I have it, and it works. And I just like the vibe over here. I like to have a cool place that you can also film videos at, but also just hang out with friends and play guitar or do whatever. So it's a great little chill spot that I really enjoy. And on the other wall, we have a TV. This is a sharp, uh, like, $250 TV that I bought 
a couple years ago. It's a 55 inch 4K. It has HDR, but it doesn't really look that great. Um, but it's actually a really good TV for the money. Like it's probably one of my best value TVs I've ever bought for $250. Like it's probably the equivalent, I would say, of like a $400 TV, $450 maybe, um, if you were to buy it today. I have my PS4 Pro back here mounted on the wall that I use when I just want to play some games with the officer if I have people over. Um, I have the PS5 at home now, so I don't use the PS4 Pro as much anymore. So it's been moved to the office and it lives here with some older games on it that we can play when we're here just chilling or if I got people over, um, we can hang out and play uh, some games. In the lounge area, I also have some guitars. I have my main electric guitar, which is a Fender Stratocaster. It's an American Performer Series. And then I have an older Squire Strat that someone gifted to me, my brother-in-law actually, um, that I have here. It's kind of like a practice guitar if I'm just messing around. But those are my two electric guitars that also kind of live over there in that world. Kind of adds something cool um, to the walls and make it not so boring, um, but also functional because it's a way to store them. So that's the lounge. And then the other side of the studio is the podcast setup. So this studio is actually at the church that I work at. This is my office, and um, I use it for YouTube stuff. I use it for, obviously, my job mainly, um, but I also shoot my YouTube stuff here, as you can see. And uh, we actually record a podcast. Our two lead pastors have a podcast. So this is what we do over here. And this is the setup that we've kind of recently changed and added. I have an Ameren 100D light with a lantern softbox mounted above them over the table where they sit and then i have two sm58s right now looking to upgrade to the uh, mv7 soon but right now they're sm58s with windscreens on them and then they run into a audio snake that carries the signal all the way to my id44 on the desk so i can record there and it works great it's set up super cool and you'd be surprised how good a 58 will sound uh even with uh, the windscreen on and all that stuff when you get good preamps, you know what you're doing You can actually sound really good. So they work great. Love this setup. It looks great on camera too as well We film it so it has to look good not only sound good um, But this setup over here allows me to also use other stuff It's very mobile so we can change it around and do other things with it shift it around It's all very lightweight stuff So it makes it super easy just to move stuff around and adapt the room to whatever we need to shoot now, when it comes to sound treatment in the studio, my desk setup is the only area that's really done correctly. These smaller little gray panels that you see on the wall here, they really don't do a lot. I bought these when I didn't really know what I was doing or understand sound treatment because I thought they looked cool and I thought that's all you needed. Um, but they really do not do hardly anything. Um, you really need two inch uh, foam squares at, at, at least to, to really do something. And that's what I have all around my desk setup is completely filled with foam um, and it really deadens the space, which is what I was going for when I record stuff like I am right now or voiceover stuff. It just kind of kills everything, which is what I was going for. Um, but eventually I'm going to get actual sound panels from a guy local that makes them and fill the whole room and treat it properly. So it sounds great. That's why you guys will see me mainly shoot at my desk is because the rest of the room is not treated amazing. So it doesn't sound as good as it could. So that's why I shoot where I do. But sound treatment is kind of a in progress piece of it. Now, in between the lounge area kind of podcast studio part and my desk setup is this new addition to the wall. And this is a kind of charging storage wall that I've created with this wall control metal pegboard that I found on Amazon made in the USA stuff. It's super, super nice. And I have a full video kind of how I installed this, how I chose what to do here. But this has been huge for me. I love it. I love being able just to quickly charge stuff, store batteries, um, store other things, stuff I don't use a lot, cables, headphones, um, have a, all my chargers stored there it's just great so this has been a huge win for me and i'll be doing a more in-depth video on installing this how i set it up all that good stuff so be looking out for that i think i'm gonna upload that one next week so uh be on the lookout so yeah that's the studio it's not a huge room i've tried to make the best use of space that i can find this room actually used to be three different closets that we took down all the walls and made it one big room and so it's kind of a weird shape with the triangle in the corner where the podcast studio is and it's like just an odd room so making use of the space was really vital and important to try to maximize the functionality of the room so i feel like i've done a pretty good job of that um, but it's still a work in progress everything is always evolving and wanting to, to get things to look better and to be more functional so it's a space that will continue to evolve and grow but seriously guys thanks so much for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you as i always say and again we're already blowing past 500 subscribers when i hit a thousand there will be another giveaway so make sure that you stay subscribed make sure that you share it if you don't mind hit the like button um, comment let me know your thoughts let me know some videos you want to see from me because i always want more video ideas and want to make stuff that you guys want to see so let me know in the comments but again as i always say thank you so much for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button talk to me in the comments i want to hear from you and i'll catch you in the next one